This episode brought to you by the Acme Tow Dolly Company, the manufacturer of the original hydraulic disc brake tow dolly. Hey guys, Brian from RV Illustrated, and today we're going to talk about the latest and newest generation of the Acme Tow Dolly. Stay tuned. <laughs> two tow dollars side by side at first glance they may look, may look exactly the same but there's some slight differences between them this is the older generation tow dolly that we purchased back in January February and this is the newest and latest generation as of July 2017 Let's take a look at the differences. All right, here we're looking at the older Acme tow dolly. You notice here on the front, there's three slots right across here in the front where the bracket connects into. Let's look at the new tow dolly. All right, here's the newest tow dolly. You notice there's only two slots where the bracket connects to, and it's cut out right here. The reason for that cutout is to allow for lower profile vehicles. And that bracket, you're really, we have a Ford Focus and that's where we have it at right there. And I'll show you how to how to adjust that and what you need to adjust it for uh, in a minute. But anyway, you got plenty of room to adjust here uh, for the width of your vehicle. All right, here we are looking at the older Acme Tow Dolly. Now this, this is the brake line right here, this this hard piece of tubing here. It comes out and goes down to the side and goes around uh, up underneath. Let's take a look at the newer tow dolly. Alright, this is the newest generation of the Acme tow dolly. You notice that they put a cut a slot here in the tongue and so the brake line comes out of the, the tongue here and goes down into this arm here. It's uh, more protected than coming out through the side. Uh, down in this area right here so that's an improvement the other difference is the difference between the uh, adjustable straps the one on the left is the one that came with our tow dolly that we bought uh, back earlier in the year these are the newer ones they're almost identical the difference is, is that these have a Cordura uh, sleeve on them to help protect you know it's this little black strap here it's not it's not on the right but or not perfectly not even but anyway, you kind of get the idea. That's there to protect the uh, abrasion from the straps rubbing against each other. All right, let's talk about these uh, brackets right here. Yeah, uh, these brackets they're they're adjustable and they they uh, it's, they're adjusted by the width of your vehicle. And what you do is you measure from the center of your tire to the center of the other tire, of the front of your the front wheels of your car, and you get that uh, that measurement. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to the middle, into this area. You're going to find the middle of the, the tow dolly. Kind of mark it. You can put a little painter's tape there and mark it, whatever, if, if you don't want to mark on the uh, the metal here. Anyway, then you're going, to you're going to take that measurement from your vehicle and divide it in half. And then you're going to come from that end back over here and bolt it uh, to break it in. Now on the tow dolly from Acme that we had two years ago, just to tell you the difference and how they're always and continuously improving, the old one from a couple years ago had a slot right here, and this bracket went into the slot, and then you had to you could adjust it easily up and down that way, but then you had to bolt it. But now they've they've reduced some weight by not putting that uh, welded slot on there. You know the chance of that could come off even though it was bolted I guess it could come off but you know they cut out here they're cutting out weight here and these tow dollies are, are some of the lightest uh, out there you can look at it and uh, it's a simple design it works very well we'll look at the ramps here 
I uh, do recommend that if you uh, if you get an Acme Toe Dolly to get you some some gloves, some work gloves. Uh, these treads right here, they're very aggressive and they will cut you. Uh, the positive part about it is uh, if it's wet, it's still going to grip the tires. Your tires are not going to slip on there. Uh, these toe dollies come with a, a four pin connector. Uh, you'll have to get a little adapter if you have a, a seven pin uh, on your motorhome or if you're going to use it uh, with a car. Uh, if you have that seven pin, you may not, you may only have the four pin. But uh, anyway, these ramps are put down by this uh, nut or wing nut I guess you want to call it anyway they go on here and there's a threaded rod that's welded that comes up through and they just lift I can't lift it up right now but anyway they lift up and then they have these hooks right here this one's upside down but anyway you take this hook and you hook them in into these slots here based on the width of your, of your vehicle uh, you line you want to kind of line it up here and uh, it sets down in those and then with those uh, straps you hook the straps here or there's another if you can see it here but there's another there's a side hook here the older one from a couple years ago that we had had some of these welded kind of sideways here so that's how you hooked up you didn't have these another way that they cut out weight is uh, is putting these slots down through there there's plenty of slots to hook to. To connect your, your Acme tow dolly to the uh, to your motorhome or truck or wherever you're going to use the tow, uh, what you do is they have these and you just push this button to the side and lift up and then your your ball seats up in the air and once it's seated good you push that down, push that down, yeah, it locks it in, then you take this pin and put it through and there it's locked. They have this neat handle here that's welded on. This is the high hydraulic brake version here. Uh, it takes brake fluid that goes inside here. This is a protective cap. There's another protective cap there. You lift this up and that's where your brake fluid goes in. Uh, the way it works is the weight of the vehicle on the tow dolly, when it's coming to a stop, it pushes forward and it actuates the brakes on the wheels. Uh, very simple, very easy design. If you need to lock out the brakes here, uh, you can. There's a little pin that comes with it that you can tape in there by law that they can't have it uh, there all the time. But uh, if you need to move it a little bit to so the wheels won't break, uh, so the uh, wheels won't lock up with the brakes, you can do that. All right, your tow dolly does also comes with these safety chains. I just got them hooked around here, um, but there's two on each side that connect to your vehicle, and it also has this right here, this little uh, uh, cable and hook. That's your emergency brake breakaway cable, and you also connect it to your vehicle. The Acme tow dolly is uh, made in Kernersville, North Carolina. They sell directly to the public and. Uh, you can't buy these through any dealer, so uh, you go to their website, cartodolly.com, as you can see down here at the bottom. Uh, so get right there, cartodolly.com. Yeah, you go there and you find more information. You can order your tow dolly. Uh, you can either pick it up from them in Kernersville, North Carolina, if you're in that area, or you can have it shipped. Uh, they have some good prices on shipping. Uh, every once in a while, they run a special, but uh, we've done it both ways. We've picked up from them and we've uh, had it shipped. Uh, just to kind of give you a little overview of what you need to do when it's shipped. It comes shipped in a crate. It will be standing upright. Uh, you'll get it. You'll have to remove some bolts uh, where the tow dolly is connected to the crate. And uh, once you do that, you lower it down. The fenders will not be on there. The plastic fenders, they'll be in a separate box with the straps, the chains, uh, everything else that you're going to need with it. Uh, the, the ramps will not be connected as well. They'll be in a, in a uh, separate box. Uh, but once you get it, you pull it out, you uh, unhook those bolts, 
and you're going to lower the tow dolly down and you're going to pull it straight out. Um, it's that easy. Um, once you get it out, you're going to take your fenders here. Uh, I believe there's four bolts. Uh, two in the front, two in the rear. You hook those. The lights are already on there. Uh, matter of fact, I'll show you the back side here. They're LED lights. You can see here, they're LED lights. They, got, they do have a strap across so they won't come out. Uh, some people have said before in the past that I guess the these type of lights have popped out or something. Um, they fix that. They, they, there's a strap that comes across. Those are already on there. Um, even when you get to your ship, they're, they're already on there now. Uh, the brackets I mentioned, you do have to, to put those brackets on there. They'll be in that box as well. But it's a very simple uh, simple process when you get it. Oh, and you're going to need to put some, some brake fluid in there. Uh, but it's a, it's a very simple process. Uh, recommend doing it either way. You're looking at the newest generation right now. Let's look at the previous generation, back side. Now, this one we picked up, that one was shipped to us. The difference between picking it up in person is that it was all put together. The fenders were right already on there. Uh, we, we had a box, the, uh, just a smaller box that had the straps and the chains and everything that was in it. Um, the ramps they had already put on there for us, just, they just lay on there. One goes uh, right side up and the other one just goes upside down on top of it. Uh, you have that little uh, threaded rod that comes up that's bolted, or excuse me, welted on. And then that you, you just put that little uh, locking wing nut on there. Um, those are both the same on both of those, but it was the same uh, same deal on both of them. And like I said, we were we we're really really happy with the uh, Acme tow dolly, and uh, it's provided a lot of uh, a lot of use for us. Uh, we just recently took this one on a trip from North Carolina up to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, and uh, close to 2,000 miles I want to say round trip, and. Uh, Perform, uh, performed greatly. Uh, this one, we took it down to uh, the upper panhandle of Florida a few months ago. Uh, roughly a thousand, fifteen hundred miles on it. Performed flawlessly. So, but anyway, we just want to show you those two differences uh, between the the two tow dollies, and they're they're continuously improving. So, be sure to go to cartodolly.com and uh, check out, get more information, check them out, and order yours. Yeah, you won't be disappointed. Yeah, one of the other things I wanted to mention was the uh, the tires. They are 12 inch tires. Um, they previously had 10 inch tires, and these are uh, uh, high rated. Uh, or high speed rated uh, tires you know they're rated up to 65 miles per hour and the the load that they carry is well within the the, uh, the limits of the of the tow dolly so uh, like I said they, they work really well even the 10 inch tires uh, these are just more readily available uh, tires that you can get and you can order your tow dolly with a spare tire as well show you the newest and latest generation of the Acme Tow Dolly as well as the previous version of the Acme Tow Dolly and we just want to emphasize how they continuously improve their product they're continuously working on them and uh, it just really shows
If you liked our videos, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.